Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. So at the end of this video, uh, the learner should be able to correctly identify corresponding angles, interior angles, and exterior angles, and accurately find the missing angles in a given problem. So what is a transversal? A transversal is a line that cuts across two or more lines. In this figure, we have here two, uh, actually three lines. We have line A, line B, and line C. Right? Line A is parallel to line B. So line A and line B are parallel lines. And line C is a transversal. So ito yung tinatawag nating transversal. So it is a line that cuts across two lines in this figure. Pero pwede ring tatlo ha, pwede ring tatlong line ang ikat niya. Okay? So in this figure dalawang lines A and B. We have what we call interior angles. So interior angles are angles between the two lines. Okay? Angles between the two lines. So ibig sabihin nasa loob from the word interior. Okay? Nasa loob ng dalawang linya. So we have here line A, line B. So yung mga angles na naform sa loob nila are these angles. So we have angle 3, we have angle 4, this is angle 6, and this is angle 5. We call these angles as interior angles. Okay? Interior angles. Kung meron tayong mga angles sa loob ng dalawang lines, meron din tayong tinatawag na exterior angles. So, these are angles that are outside the two lines. Outside the two lines. So, in this figure, we have angle 1, itong angle na ito. Okay? We have angle 2, this angle right here. We have angle 8, ito, okay? And this angle, angle 7. So, these angles are outside the two lines. So, they are called exterior. Exterior, nasa labas, okay? Nasa labas ng dalawang linya. Again, yung nasa loob, tinatawag natin silang interior angles. Interior, nasa loob ng dalawang linya. Yung nasa labas naman, tinatawag natin exterior angles. We also have what we call corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. What are corresponding angles? These are two angles by pair sila, ha? So, two angles on the same side of the transversal. The same side of the transversal. Ibig sabihin, kapwa sila nasa left or kapwa sila nasa right. And on the same side of the parallel lines. Okay? The same side of the parallel lines. So, kung nasa baba sila ng line or nasa taas sila ng line. Okay? So, in this figure, the corresponding angles are denoted by the, of course, so yung circle na pareho ang color, ano? Um, in identifying corresponding angles, kagaya ng angle 1 and angle 5, dapat pareho nasa the same uh, side sila ng transversal. So, yung angle 1 and angle 5 ay parehong nasa left side. Okay? Parehong nasa left side ng transversal. And they should be on the same side of the parallel lines. So, yung angle 1 nasa taas ng parallel line. Yung angle 5 din nasa taas ng parallel line. So, therefore, we have the, the first uh, pair of our corresponding angles are angle 1 and angle 5. Okay, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. Pareho, na sil pareho silang nasa left side ng transversal, pareho silang nasa taas ng parallel lines. Another corresponding angles are angle 2 and angle 6. Okay, andito si angle 2 sa right side ng transversal sa taas ng parallel line. And angle 6 nasa right side ng transversal and nasa taas din siya ng parallel line. So, these angles are corresponding angles. Okay? So, angle 2 and angle 6. Again, corresponding angles. The same side of the transversal and the same side of the parallel lines. Next, we have angle 3 and angle 7. 
Hmm. Angle 3, nasa left side ng transversal. Pareho sila ng angle 7, nasa left side. And pareho silang nasa baba. Okay, under the parallel line. Angle 7, nasa under din ng parallel line. So, these are corresponding angles. Next, we have angle 4 and angle 8. Si angle 4 and angle 8 are on the same uh, side of the transversal. Nasa right side sila, no? Nasa right side ng transversal. And pareho silang nasa baba ng parallel lines. Okay, so uh, they are corresponding angles. Okay? Ma'am, saan ba ang angle dyan? Of course, yung angle 1, this angle right here. Yung angle 2, itong angle na ito. Okay? Ayan. Yung angle 3, ito siya. Yung angle 4, ito siya. Okay? So, yun ang mga angle. Ayan. Angle 6, this is angle 5, this is angle 8, and this is angle 7. Okay? Now, we also have what we call alternate Alternating or alternate interior angles. Okay, alternate. From the word alternate. Okay, these are two angles between the two parallel lines and on the opposite. Alternate, opposite sides of the transversal. So, interior, ibig sabihin, angles between the two parallel lines and alternate meaning opposite. They are on the opposite sides of the transversal. Okay? So, interior angles, yung qualifier natin, dapat andito sila sa loob ng parallel lines. Okay? Um, alternate, ibig sabihin, nasa opposite side ng transversals. Ang example natin dito, we have angle 5 and angle 4. Nasa loob sila ng parallel lines and yung angle 5 nasa left side, opposite niya yung nasa right side which is angle 4. Okay? So, we have angle 4 and angle 5 and also angle 3 and angle 6. Okay. Again, interior angles alternate. So, that's alternate interior angles. Okay. Angle 3 and angle 6. Kung meron tayong alternate interior angles, we also have alternate exterior angles. Okay. Exterior naman, yung mga nasa labas, no? Nasa labas. These are angles outside the two parallel lines and on the opposite sides of the transversal. Okay? So, exterior angles sila and they are on the opposite side of the transversal. Example, we have angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 1 and angle 8. So, exterior angles sila and then opposite side ng transversal. Okay? Um, yung angle 1 nasa left side, yung angle 8 nasa right side ng transversal. We also have angle 2 and angle 7. So, exterior angle sila, alternate kasi yung 7 nasa left side ng transversal, yung angle 2 nasa right side ng transversal. Again, yung transversal, eto yun siya, o, oh, etong line that cuts the two lines. Okay, so that's alternate exterior angles. Now, saan ba ginagamit yan? Of course, um, we use this in determining the measures of the angles um, using these properties of angles. So, these are the properties of angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. So, if we have this figure, parallel lines na cut ng transversal, we can use these properties of angles. First one, Corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, congruent. When we say congruent, they have equal measure. Okay, the same measure. So, if we have, let's say, uh, parallel lines, and then let's draw a transversal. Parang ganun, ano? Ayan. Let's say this is corresponding angles, eh? Corresponding angles. So, let's say this angle is 25 uh ano ito let's say this is 125 angle uh 125 degrees okay ang corresponding angle niya ay yung nasa left side din okay nasa left side din na parehong uh, sa taas ng parallel line okay so andito rin yung uh, corresponding angle ng angle na ito okay so, ibig sabihin, corresponding angles are congruent. 
Kung 125 degrees yan, ibig sabihin itong ka-corresponding angle niya is also 125 degrees. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng letter A. Corresponding angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin, itong, itong um, angle na ito dito, at saka yung angle na ito dito, because they are corresponding angles, kung anong measurement nito, yun din ang measurement dito. Okay? So, because they are congruent. Next, alternate interior angles are congruent. So, alternate interior angles are congruent. So, ano bang interior angles? Itong apat dito, no? And then, alternate. So, if this is 125, ang ka-alternate interior angles niya, itong angle na ito dito. Okay? Okay, so itong angle. So that's the alternate interior angle of this angle, 125 degrees. So congruent sila, meaning if this is 125 degrees, this is also 125 degrees. Next, alternate exterior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. If this is 125 degrees, this angle, ang ka-alternate niya na exterior angle ay this angle right here. Okay? Exterior. Okay? Alternate exterior angle. If this is 125 here, then this must be 125 degrees din. Kasi congruent sila. Alternate exterior angles. Next, each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So, each pair of the interior angles. Okay? On the same side of the transversal is supplementary. The same side uh, of the transversal. Okay, medyo messy na siya dito. Uh, the same side of the transversal, interior angle. So, eto dito, yung the same side niya is this one right here, this angle. Yun ang the same side niya. And they form supplementary. Okay? They are supplementary angles. Meaning, kung i-add silang dalawa, is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, paano ma-solve? Um, ano ito dito? Anong angle yan dyan? Okay. So, that would be supplementary sila. So, yung sum nila must be 180 degrees. And so, i-minus mo lang yung 125, 125 degrees. So, that would give you um, the, the measure of this. Okay? The measure of this angle. Okay? So, what is that? What is the measure of that angle? So, 180 minus 125. So, that must be 55 degrees. Okay? 55 degrees. So, this must be 55 degrees. Ayan. Next, each pair of exterior angles. Exterior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. Exterior angles, ha? Each pair of the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. The same side of the transversal is supplementary. Exterior angle. The same side of the transversal. Ibig sabihin, itong 125 dito, okay? Saan ba yung the same side niya na exterior? Ito dito. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, supplementary din sila. So, 125 degrees plus this angle right here is equal to 180 degrees. Let's try this. Example number one, find the following using the figure below. We have this figure. Find the corresponding angle of angle 7. So, we have here angle 7, this angle right here. So, ang corresponding angle niya, yung kapareho niyang nasa left side ng transversal. Okay? Yung nasa left side ng transversal. And yung nasa baba ng parallel line. So, therefore, this angle. So, angle 3. Okay? So, yung ka-corresponding niya ay angle 3. Um, letter B, alternate interior of angle 6. Alternate interior. Angle 6, and dito si angle 6. Yung interior angles, and dito, sa loob ng parallel lines. And then, ka-alternate niya, ibig sabihin, nasa right side ng transversal si angle 6. Dapat yung nasa left side. Okay? Nasa left side ng angle 
6, so we have angle 3 pa rin. Okay, so right side. Okay. So, yun ang alternate interior niya. Angle 3. Next, alternate exterior of angle 7. So, this is angle 7, exterior. Okay, nasa dito, nandito siya. And so, alternate exterior, nasa left side si angle 7, si yung nasa right side. So, that's angle 2. Okay, angle 2. Example number 2, find the measure of angle P in the given figure below. So, si angle P andito. Okay, this angle right here. Now, the given is this angle is 145 degrees. Okay, 145 degrees. So, since they are um, alternate exterior angles, alternate exterior angles, and based on sa, yung sa properties of angles kanina, so, alternate exterior angles are congruent. Tama ba? Sige, let's find out. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin, the same sila ng measure. So, therefore, they are, um, since they are alternate exterior angles, therefore, angle P, okay, angle P must also be equal to 145 degrees. Okay, pareho sila, congruent sila. Okay, so ayan, angle P and 145 degrees form a pair of alternate exterior angles. So therefore, measure of angle P equals 145 degrees.